Good morning, everyone. In uh, today's video, uh, I'm going to just uh, have a, a quick demonstration um, for this. Uh, it's very nice stair. I saw one on one of the uh, uh, Facebook uh, pages that I was uh, following and um, I try to have a, a development for it in, uh, in Dynamo and uh, Revit. Uh, I cited on uh, the architecture and design uh, Facebook page and I track that down to the to the to the designer I think he is the designer Isa uh, that's his uh, page here so the shape uh, is just a kind of very interesting shape for the uh, uh, stairs I know it doesn't have a handrail and there's lots of people talking about the uh, how risky it could be beside the aesthetics part of it but uh, it's really a nice uh, a nice thing that I tried I just want to share uh, you know how we can uh, or is it possible or feasible to do that in Dynamo I just created it as a custom node uh, which is too complicated uh, thinking to make the, the tutorial step by step for it and the inputs that I noticed it can be go with the landing width and landing depth that's this main two things for the landing the overall height, razor and tread, uh, trade thickness, and uh, two curvature to control, you know, that curve and the smallest curve, the big curve and the small curve. So, just still testing it. So, if I hit run, I'm here, I have a conceptual mass, and you can see it's, uh, it's really nice. Uh, kind of a crazy shape but I like it and I think it's work properly uh, in uh, Dynamo and <clears throat> it's got a good uh, a good uh, geometry uh, you can control the number of uh, you know the landing width you can make it four Hit run. I think I need to do this as an automatic. Thank you, better. A number of uh, uh, landing path. I'm, I'm not interested in this one. The height four. Just make it three. And you can see that the uh, overall length is actually uh, changed. Let's say four point five. And you can see that uh, change actually. Uh, number of uh, uh, again here uh, the razor you can change the razor thickness and um, you know the tread instead of an 0.3 you can make it 0.5. Uh, it's not realistic, but uh, you can have you know uh, whatever shapes uh, you desire. Um, I think that's it, and that's. Geometry can be done in Dynamo and uh, Rivet successfully. Of course, that's a conceptual mass, and um, you can just export that into a Rivet project environment and just add walls for it, ending up with the same result that I have in this picture here at the left. Uh, thank you very much for watching me, and have a good day.